Hi, this is Graphically Alex coming at you with all things fat related. If that's something that interests you, please subscribe. I'd love to have you. So today, what I wanted to do is actually cover this really, I guess, weird thing that hit the photosphere. Now, the photosphere has been dead for quite a while. Um, and so I was waiting kind of to see, like, when is this next sort of scandal going to take off or when is something going to happen because it's been a minute and while I do think the tea of this is a little bit it's not as spicy as it could be you know it's no Colleen Ballinger moment I do think it's interesting to cover and I think that there is this sort of angle that I want to talk about it in terms of like I guess like to a certain extent, how people view fat people and to another extent, how Anna kind of acted like a complete stereotype, because I think that there is this idea within anti-FA that hatred of fat people is kind of exaggerated. And I do think it is for the most part, I think, because fat activists are just horrible and they don't like understand anything <laughs> basically um and they make a mockery out of basically everything they talk about but I did want to I guess have you guys ask yourselves and I want to ask myself like would this be perceived differently if Anna was thin and also I just want to I want you guys to tell me like why you think this kicked off a cancellation Anna has deleted this video off of her channel, but I found it because I'm evil. No, I'm just kidding. But um, no, I did find it. And let's go ahead and go through it and see what we can get out of it. But basically, she goes into the store and she acts kind of inappropriately and people don't like her for it. So let's see. You guys can get the tea here. I have kind of late tea, but it's still here. Let's go. What? <laughs> And I figured you might enjoy seeing the thing. Okay, let me start. Do a little bit of a Target run, and I thought I would bring you guys along. Because uh, Target's fun. <laughs> and I figured you might enjoy seeing the things I pick up when I head to my local Target. So, a lot of people were upset because she sounds like she has labored breathing. That's a thing. Like, when I first started losing weight, I had very, very labored breathing. And I don't know what it is about people, but when you first try to lose weight, there's a lot of nastiness online. I think it's because there there is a huge subsect of people online that actively hate fat people, that actually just hate fat people and root for their deaths. I know that's horrible to say, but it is just a fact. And until you've kind of dealt with it, you don't always know like it's not something that you're going to be aware of unless if you're a content creator at a certain size and Anna is very big so I was very big like her as well and when I first started changing my diet and and doing certain things I would get massive hate um, particularly from vegans I've talked about that a lot but there were vegans that wanted me to die. They cheered for my death because I would eat plenty of meat and dairy. And they went on this whole thing about it, basically. And then other people were really upset because I wasn't losing weight fast enough and all this stuff. It's, it's a lot. You know, you have to realize Anna is not healthy at all. Okay, so she's also on a weight loss drug, which... Who even knows what the side effects are of that? I think that there's also other things going on. You know, I'm not here to defend Anna. I do think that this is kind of an inappropriate, weird thing that she did. But I think it is exaggerated. And so I just want you guys to let me know, what do you really think about this? Because if you were to look up other people's videos, they're going to act like, Anna went into the store and like stole everything or they act like she punched someone in the face or they act like she cussed somebody out or something or she like really got super angry at the 
at the employees and, and spit on them or something. Like the reaction to it is kind of, it's a bit much in my opinion. A lot of people, uh, we'll get into it. So we'll, let's start there. They're mad that she's having labored breathing. She's not healthy, you guys. She's going to have labor breathing. Let's continue. Target. By the way, I just have to say, I don't really like Target that much. And I am not impressed by their holiday stuff this year. Just saying. Okay, let's continue. <laughs> and I think those decorations are really ugly. And I have been in my local Target recently. So I already saw this stuff. Here, we've made it. They're hiring. If any of you are looking for a job, they are hiring. Okay, I'm gonna grab. So I think she was trying to go for some kind of zany thing. And I have to admit, I do think some of why this video was so hated is probably because of her persona in this video. Let's continue. Sorry. I'm trying. I'm like kind of. This is why I never watch anything before I <laughs> I do it because I always want to just like say everything up front. Okay. Let's just keep going. Sorry. My cart because it's going to be a big one today. And off we go to the Target. I lied because I did find like a big one that can like go in a little pair. I think they're really cute and they're super affordable because they're in the dollar. So the other reason why people were hating her is because her hair isn't done. So they were mad at her because she's really bumming it today and that kind of thing. That was like a common thing that people really didn't like. And to me, it's like, I don't think Target is like this super high class establishment. Like, I just don't. I think Target tries to be, but Target is not, like, in my opinion. I myself would bum it to Target. I think a lot of people have bummed it to Target. Now, would they film it on video and post it? Eh, that's another discussion for another day. But, okay, let's keep going. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, I do want you guys to see, like, just how big she is. And she is pretty, she's pretty big, okay? Um... I do know that she has lost some weight from her highest. I haven't really talked about her that much on this channel just because I don't consider her a fat acceptance person as she's literally on Wagovi and she's actually trying to lose weight. Maybe not trying as successfully or maybe not as great or whatever. I don't know. That's neither here nor there. But I tend to leave people alone that are not fat acceptance because it's like... If you're not accepting it and if you're doing something about it, it's in my opinion that eventually you'll get there. And it's like, just do what you can and kind of vibe. That's how I take it. So I don't necessarily enjoy a lot of people in the anti-FA space doing this. Again, I think it's that same, like... I don't know. I, I don't know what it is. You know, I hate it. I don't like it when I feel like I have to give Megan Ann credit. But when she talks about how it seems like a lot of people in anti-FA just hate fat people, I can kind of see what she's saying here. Because to me, it's like, she's not fat acceptance. She's accepted that it's an issue. She's trying to lose weight. So why are you shitting on her? Like, there's more people to talk about. I don't know. And to me, it, it, it's just, it's one of those weird questions I have sometimes in this space. And when I'm just like doing it, you know, like doing the content creation and stuff, it's just things that I think about where I'm just like, but that being said, I'm not necessarily here to, to shell for Anna. There's some weird stuff in this. So let's go. Yeah. You look like right on the end of my side. So one thing that people were really upset about is how she took clothes off and she puts them back. So let me know what you guys think. Little tight. Yes, it's a little bit small. So that's it now. Oh, which is a bummer because it's so cute. It's like I'm right in between an extra extra large and a 2X right now. And so sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. So I was just trying. So people were really upset that she said that as well. So to me... 
I don't know. Okay. Like, when it comes to her attitude in this video, I cannot tell if she is, like, trolling. If she, Which, if she's trolling, then she deserves everything she got. I'll just say that. I don't know if she's trying to, like, manifest, like, a smaller size or something. Like, she's trying to act as if, or it's, like, some kind of new age thing that she's doing. Or if she's just flat out delusional because I'm not trying to be super harsh here, but you're still very, very big, Anna. It's going to be really hard to find something off the rack. Like I myself, I'm a three X, sometimes two X. It really depends. Like it's very much in between. And at most stores, they don't have 3X, unless if you're at Walmart, but Walmart 3X is like a 2.5. So it can be a little tricky for certain things like sweaters or something that you have to wear over something else. It might be too small. And so it can be a little tricky, you know, to find stuff. But Target especially, I don't feel like Target has that much uh, options, like You'd have to go somewhere else, typically. I think even Walmart has more options than Target. Target is not that great. I'm sorry. <laughs> I mean, I, I really don't like Target. But anyways, let's continue. <laughs> I really, to me, Target is the place where you go and you want to get something, but they never have it. That's Target. It's like always a missed Target. That's what it should be called. Okay, let's continue. Which is, <laughs> makes shopping a little bit less fun because it really is a 50-50 chance, 50-50% chance something will work. Okay, so to me, I'm like, okay, she puts it on. Just totally fill. I guess it's a little messy, I don't know. See, I don't know. So I can understand why people were like kind of upset because they're just like, that's not going to fit you, Anna, blah, blah, blah. And a lot of people went on about that. And to me, it's like, I don't know. Is it aspirational, Anna? Like, it's okay if it is, I guess, but it's just kind of weird. So, okay. And this. Why? Why? So much hat. Too much hat. Now my hair is all messy. Whatever. I mean, I'm really hoping that that's a troll. You know what I'm saying? Because it's like, this is like... <laughs> If you go into this already hating her, when she does something like that, you're going to think she's the dumbest person in the entire world. And it's like, I can't believe that she's that dumb. You know what I'm saying? Like, to me, I do feel like there's a lot of fakeness in her in this. I feel like it's very, 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 very fake, which I think is one of the reasons why this went over so poorly. Y'all, y'all, it caught my eye, and if, if they don't have my size, I'm gonna be so- See, like, her attitude is so fake. Yo, yo, oh my gosh, like, I almost feel like I could go to Target and make a spoof of this, because her attitude is so cringe, and like, huh, like, that's not authentic at all. It's very inauthentic. It is a bedazzled denim jacket. I know, but you know it's not gonna fit. So I don't know. It's weird. I don't know what she's doing. I don't know if this is like some kind of a fat acceptance thing. I don't know if this is just a troll. I don't know if she's getting mad that Target doesn't have her size. Like, I don't get it. I don't. Bedazzled. Okay, this is a large. And I'm going to go dig through the jackets. I kind of love it. It's so ridiculous. But it's kind of amazing. It doesn't fit. It doesn't. It looks really weird. It's like a crop top type of vibe, which it's like, I don't know. It's, I don't really like it. I don't like it. Okay. I'm getting it. It's so stupid. I love it. I mean, it's teddy bears with Christmas lights. How could I not? I had to. I had to. Okay, I kind of like this one. I don't like that I can't read it clearly, though. But there's part of me like, this. this is the one I wanted. But of okay. course, not my size. 
I mean, it looks very stretchy though, but I'm gonna stop, girl. Okay, so people really took an issue with how she was doing this, which to me, look, I'm gonna give a hot take, okay? I may not be the best retail person, okay? I don't typically, I don't always fold things. You know, I don't really go to Target like that, but I, I do buy clothes at Walmart. I don't usually fold it up all nice or whatever. I just don't. But the thing is, like, most things are pretty basic. So, like, if I'm just buying a shirt like this, I know what it looks like. I'm only looking for the size, so I wouldn't have to unfold it like that. And so I can kind of understand the etiquette aspect just because like if you don't have to then don't and you know that these won't fit you they're not going to fit you so to me it's like maybe she's doing it just for content or she's trying to like fluff things up or something but you know don't make your video a problem for employees if that makes any sense if, like if you're genuinely not even going to buy anything there then why make a mess? You know what I'm saying? So that's kind of how I see it, but I'm not going to act like, oh my gosh, Ooh, you know, you're so, you are the worst person in the world because you don't fold it. I think a lot of people don't fold it. I don't know that I fold it every time. I, I don't, but I also don't just unfold things just to unfold them. Like, I don't do that either. So I guess I'm, I'm agnostic with my folding, I guess. Let the spider live its best life. Not on me. Also, why do they make th all this cute ass kid clothes? I think it's also her face and how she's acting. And to me, a lot of people were speculating that she's she's almost acting drunk. I wonder if it has something to do with her Wagovi. I know that's probably evil to say, but I do wonder if there's something going on. Um because you never know. Like, I've lost a lot of weight this year. It's hard. You do feel dizzy sometimes. You do feel kind of weird. I wonder if she's depressed. I wonder if she's this. I wonder if she's that. Like, who knows? I have no idea. You know, I, I don't know all the side effects of those types of drugs, but from some of what I've heard, there are some psychological side effects. So I don't know if that's what's going on too, but it's a little... She... She is acting a little weird, and I think that's also why people really didn't like this. None of it in my size. That's all I want to say. I would buy all of it. I don't have it in my size. Mm -hmm. Theme of this video, it's not my size. Mm -hmm. Okay, we gotta find this in my size. That's really cute. You have the Christmas trees. Nothing's in my stomach. See, so people got mad at stuff like that, which to me, it's like, you know it's not going to be in your size, so why? You know, and I think, like I said, is it a troll? Is it this? Is it that? Like, if it was a troll, then just fold it after. Like I said, don't make your YouTube video an employee's problem. Oh my God, this is amazing. I've come face to face with something that like I was destined for. I'm just going to say I don't like it. I don't think I like her style at all, for the record. <laughs> I haven't really commented on it, but everything, she's like, this is so cute. Like, that teddy bear thing, I didn't like it at all. I think it's really tacky. But, you know, to each their own, I guess. <laughs> but this one, I'm like, really? Like, where would you wear that and for what? Anyways, whatever. This might be too small. Again, it's a yeah, no. It's obviously going to be too small. Like, I don't get it. Ugh, it's so cringe. This is so cringy. This part is cringy to me. It's cringe. Nope. What about this? This was supposed to be a fun and joyful trip, but it's turning out kind of sad. We're going to turn it around. We're going to turn it around. Yeah, so people are, like... Even watching this now, like, to me, this is cringe. This part's really cringy. I don't know what she's doing. I don't understand her angle. I don't know if this is, like, weight loss drug side effect. She drank a bit before she did this. Or is total trolling. 
a lot of people are like, oh, she's, this is how she really is. And ha, da, 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 da. And I'm just like, I don't know, maybe, maybe, I don't know. But it, it's like, it's just weird. I don't know. It's kind of fascinating. I'm not going to lie. It's kind of a weird thing that like, it, it interested me. It did. It will, it will be okay. Yeah. Like, what is that? It's like a bird. <laughs> it's like the, the turkey clock or so, chicken clock or something. It will, it will be okay. What is this? Yeah. What is that? I don't know. Like, it has to be fake, right? It has to. And I'm like, why would you troll like this? Like, this isn't your brand. I don't know. It's really confusing. Again, sometimes I talk on these videos from a content creator perspective. And I'm just like, why would you troll your people like that? And if you're going to troll, then leave it up. Don't be, I'm just going to say it. Don't be a pussy. If you're going to troll, then leave it up. Like, no. That's why I don't feel, I don't feel bad about doing this because, no. I don't know what the heck this is. So, and she never explained it either. She just like left it into the ether and then she made this follow-up video that was kind of cringe which it was kind of loosely alluding to it which maybe we can cover that if you guys like this but yeah anyways let's continue they look terrible this is ridiculous. oh my gosh okay this part i'm just gonna let this play the whole way through okay so this is probably one of the worst parts this is this yeah i'm just gonna play it we're going to play it again. I'm going to break it down as she does it, but we're going to play it. And I'm going to just let it go through. I want you guys to see it first. It will. If you haven't seen it. It will be okay. Yeah. Oh, I think this is a plus section. Look how sad this is. They look terrible. This is ridiculous. I'm going to help my girls out. <laughs> they look absolutely horrific. <laughs> Maybe put her in this so they can be in like a holiday look. This. It looks terrible. Like, what is this? This girl has a beanie on too. It's so bad. Okay, I'm gonna keep her pants because I think it's gonna be too much to switch her pants. Honestly, these two mannequins should be together because they're both going to a party. Well, now, I gotta keep her. Let me just keep this clean for a second. What are these shoes? Who is this girl? Give me that. Give me that. I know I'm gonna use. Girl, you need a sparkle. Oh, what the hell they had you in? Oh, get this in here. There's a target person like right across the way and I'm just having to pretend like nothing's happening. But I gotta help the girl out. She looks rough. My work here is done. But seriously. You want people to feel better about themselves? Make the mannequins look good. How are people supposed to feel like they're gonna look good in your clothes when your mannequins, who are perfectly proportioned, look like trash? That's all I'm gonna say. Okay, so we're gonna go through it again. But let me know what you guys think if you hadn't seen that. And then I'm gonna tell you what I think. So let's start it over. <laughs> Is this... Plus section. Okay, so if you didn't catch that, she just went to the plus size section now, which is where she should have started, obviously. They look terrible. Okay, so to me, I don't think it's that bad. I think it's just like very basic. And I was hearing from other channels that corporate determines what mannequins wear. So it's not like personal or whatever like nobody at the store could change it if they wanted to and I think most of the time corporate stuff they just want like mass appeal they want like they, they're looking at like a basic unassuming holiday outfit and a lot of people that are plus size they tend they can tend to be a little older like towards the 40s, 50s, you know, that type of range. So they're kind of gearing it more towards that crowd, which to me, I think it looks fine for 
especially somebody like that. I don't think it looks that bad. But I guess she's just trying to be humorous. She's trying to joke. And she's just like, this is, oh, this is terrible, blah, blah, blah. I want to put them in something that I would wear kind of vibe. So let's see. I'm going to help my girls out. <laughs> they look absolutely horrific. <laughs> so whoever's filming is laughing. <laughs> you know, they're really laughing. Um, Maybe put her in this so they can be in like a holiday look. This. It looks terrible. Like, what is this? This girl has a beanie on too. Okay, so I don't think that looks terrible for the record, but again, I think I've already established I don't have a similar taste in fashion to Anna. So I think it looks cute actually, but that's a whole other topic, I guess. I actually like it because I like how it's like you have the dark hat, dark shoes, and then the lighter dress. I think it's pretty. I think it's pretty, but whatever. I think it's pretty, Anna. So, whatever. It's so bad. No, it okay, isn't. Okay, I'm going to keep her pants because I think it's going to be too much to switch her pants. Honestly, these two mannequins should be together because they're both going... So, this is very obviously inappropriate. This is extremely, like... This is becoming kind of like a belligerent customer. This is like, again, I think she's trying to be funny or she's trying to troll or she's trying to do something, but it's kind of like, it's taking the rudeness to a really high level for not that funny of a joke. I think you could get away with something like this if it was funnier and it's not, it's not edited right. I know that's terrible to say, but it's just true. I mean, people are really weird on YouTube. Like, one person's, oh my gosh, this is so inappropriate, is another person's, like, you know, Logan Paul moment in the store in his underwear or something. It's like, I remember when that video was, like, super popular. And it's like, so I don't know. It's like, it, it has, but it was actually funnier the way he did it, and it was faster paced. Again, I think there's a branding problem there's a lot of different issues with this video. I don't know what the heck is going on with her, but this isn't her brand. This isn't her audience. I think it's also an issue of like, it's not done well and it's not that funny. It's not that fast. And it's just like really jilted and awkward. So yeah, I think that's why it went over really, really, really badly because if you're going to kind of inconvenience the store, if you're kind of going to, if you're going to kind of do something like this, it has to have like a payoff. Like there has to be like something that made people feel like it was worth it. And this just isn't it. That's my opinion. You can let me know if you guys disagree with me. You know, I would have been really coming at her if she had like damaged things or done something like that. I'd been like, that is horrible. But as far as a troll, like it maybe could have worked. I don't know, but it is not, it's obviously inappropriate, but I think it's meant to be funny, but it just, it fell very flat in my opinion. That's what I think. A party. Oh, no. I gotta keep her, let me just keep this clean for a second. What are these shoes? Who is this girl? I think they're fine. I don't like her style. I think the shoes are fine. You know, it, I don't think it's that bad. I don't. I think it looks Christmassy. You know, you could wear gold ones too, but I don't think it's bad. I don't get her issue. I just don't, but okay, whatever. Give me that. Give me that. I know I'm going to use. Girl, you need a sparkle. Yeah, so this is obvious. That's like I said, it's very inappropriate. She took the arm off and everything. It's like... I don't know. I don't know. I think it's it's taking too long. And also, too, it's... It probably would have been funnier if she was, like, 20 years younger. You know what I'm saying? It's like... I don't know. It's just kind of cringe. It's really cringy to me. But I do think, like, YouTube audiences are weird because if somebody else were to do this, they would think it was hilarious. But because she did it and the way she did it, and everything that set it up, it just wasn't it, in my opinion. That's what I think. But you guys can let me know what you think. Look, 
get this in. There's a Target person like right across the way and I'm just having to pretend like nothing's happening. But I gotta help the girl out. She looks rough. My work here is done. But seriously, you want people to feel better about themselves? Make the mannequins look good. How are people supposed to feel like they're gonna look good in your clothes when your mannequins, who are perfectly proportioned, look like trash? Okay, I don't know what that is, but to me that seemed like a bit of a fat activist rant in the middle of this. But it's just like, I don't think it was that bad. I think it was more geared towards like older crowd, which I think it was completely fine. That's all I'm gonna say. Ironically, my black shoes are a bit big right now, so I'm trying to find a oh, these. So she's really trying to flex that she's lost weight. And she probably has lost a little bit. And I think my intuition, this is just pure guessing, okay? Like I'm pulling this out of, I'm not going to say it. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> I'm pulling it out of nowhere. But what I personally think is that she has lost some weight but it isn't enough for her. And I think she's very frustrated with how much she's lost. I think she wishes it was more. And I think she's really trying to virtue signal that she has lost weight to her audience by acting as if certain clothes could fit or acting as if this or that or whatever. And I think she's trying to be positive about it, but it's not coming across that way because it's coming across as very disingenuous and kind of fake. So, yeah. Do I believe she has lost some weight? I do. But from what I've heard, she's working out a lot. She's probably well, very bloated a lot of the time. A lot of times when you're really, really big, you bloat a lot after working out. So she might be very, very bloated in general. I don't know what her calorie like amounts that she's eating are. I have no clue. I'm only just guessing because she's on Wagobi that she's probably somewhat eating less, I would think. Maybe, maybe not. But I think she's frustrated in general with her progress. That's my intuition. And so I think this is like a, she's trying to get rid of some of that like frustration or like, um, some of those feelings again she's she's that big where she's going to have some mental health effects from weight loss where she'll feel more angry or more sad or whatever like because she's just very big this is what i talk about a lot on this channel in terms of like losing weight from a very huge size it's very hard mentally because it your hormones are all over the place so i think this could be an element of it if she's not trolling and if she's not drunk that's what i would say you know, I'm not completely psychic. It's not like I know everything about what she's doing. But that's what it seems like to me. And I think it's like she missed, she misread the room kind of thing. It's tough. These are amazing. <laughs> they're like, they're like 50 bucks, which is like a really good price. Yeah, I really don't like her style. I just can't say that enough. I think it's just very like tacky. <laughs> but I don't need them, so I'll go back. That's I don't know. It's just like very shiny. Like everything has to be shiny and stuff. And it's just like, I think that can be cute sometimes, but that's just personal. So whatever. But like, how is that an XL? I'm going to look and see if they have some. You're not going to fit an XL. Ugh, I can't even talk. You're not going to fit an XL. I was going to say XL girl. And I just like blended everything together. That is just like, you've got to be trolling here like just stop oh my gosh if I were her friend I'd be like shut the fuck up like because I talk to my friends like that I know I know oh my gosh <gasps> oh I'm so evil because I I will cuss around my friends I know YouTube is so weird like it's just weird because some things about YouTube they're like hyper 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 conservative about it's like oh my gosh like the way that you talk to your friend or oh my gosh, this, or oh my gosh, that. It's just like, oh my goodness. You know, it's like, ugh, sorry. Sometimes it bugs me when people act like so, 
like pious about things that don't matter that much. But that's just my rant midline in the middle of this. Plus. But I would have told her, STFU, that is not going to fit you. What the hell? You know, or like, are you kidding me? That kind of thing. Like, I think I would talk to her like that because she seems like that kind of girl where she would be down to like cuss at each other and stuff. I could be wrong, but that's the vibe I'm getting because she's kind of like a troll. I, I would think that's that's the vibe you're giving me. And you're giving me troll vibes. So I would troll you back if we were friends because it's like, it's just so extra. I don't know. Because if they do, I'm going to buy it. Because, like this. Oh my gosh. Do you see the vision? Like, this is me. And I need sports bras because <laughs> I worked out one the other day and my boobs popped out the side. And that is the reality of my life right now. Things just be popping out of where they're supposed to be. And not in a good way. I'm constantly... Again, I don't think that that would have been terrible... But I think within the context of the whole video, it's just getting worse, kind of, as it goes on. Using my new iPhone charging cord, it's driving me nuts. And I just thought this one was cute, because look at the back. Yeah, this one, it'll probably last like two weeks. But I swear, I lose them, break them all the time. I am not a gentle person, and I'm okay with that. How did this take me so long? So a lot of the, like, um... A lot of the sort of environmentalist YouTuber, YouTube people, they were like really on her about how she buys a new charger and, oh, your landfill and whatever. There's a lot of those types of arguments against fat people where it's a lot of like the sort of thinly veiled anti-human hate that is coded into environmentalism where it's like, you should lose weight because you're a destructive force on the planet kind of vibe. I will just tell you guys that is not effective at all to anybody. I think if you say that to anybody, they will at least pretend to care, but then they'll keep doing exactly what they're doing. Like environmentalism needs a serious makeover. It is horrible the way you guys act. It's just so awful. But what I will say is we need to cut down on smog. Duh. We need to get chemicals out of our water. Duh. I think we need to focus on like actual practical goals that would actually help. But yeah, yelling at her about buying a charger, it's like, yeah, totally. Cancel her. Charger. Evil. You're horrible. It's like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't think it's so big of a deal. I'm sorry. I noticed. It's so gross. It's her money. If she wants to waste her money, that's on her. You know what I'm saying? And the thing is, like, I don't know. She's She is a paying customer at that Target. So you guys will see. She bought a lot of stuff. Who knows what that is? Oh, my gosh. They're really soft. I don't think I've ever held a squish model before. Squirrel. Oh, my God. Evil Taylor is there. <laughs> the devil is there. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I feel like every time I go to Target, there's like a Swifty shrine, like all across. Like some Swifty comes in and they just put like all her albums across the whole thing. <laughs> Do I need this? Actually, Justin's canceled, so no. Gotta do the Britney Virtue signal. Um, I know this isn't the brand that's on TikTok, but I keep seeing this thing on TikTok and I feel like I've always wanted to try it. So I was like, for 30 bucks, I'm gonna try it. Um, I don't even know if it's gonna fit around my waist. <laughs> Do you this? I think too, I think a lot of people are watching this and because the economy is so terrible, they are like jealous that she's able to buy all this. So I do think that these types of videos, they kind of sting right now. I think if I had a lot of money, I probably wouldn't be making something like this right now. It's just, gotta read the room, you know? Um, and it does seem just like a lot of superfluous, is that the word? But just like spending and spending and spending and spending. And it's like something a lot of people can't really do. And so I think people are jealous and they get mad. So it's like it'll make people hate her even more. That's my opinion 
on why this blew up so much. Very particular. He likes things that feel soft. If it feels like a blanket, he'll wear it. If it feels like anything else, he won't. Then, then I'll pass the soft test. Okay, so I'm like pretty much done. I just need to hit up protein and snacks. Okay, so this is also massive hate was her diet choices. So let's go ahead and watch it. Um, because I'm a protein girly now. And then, yeah, pay and check out. I'm gonna get some Alanya News and Rocky. Poofa. So you guys hear me talk a lot about seed oils. Almost everything she picks up in this aisle have seed oils in it, which mean it will be like an anvil on her metabolism and her weight loss. It will absolutely slow you down, girl. Any poofa you eat, it becomes fat on your body. So the more you eat, the harder time you're gonna have losing weight because your body does not process it that well. So it's like, test it out, you guys. Eat a bunch of chips, see if you can lose weight. Probably can't, just saying. Uh, you guys poofa. suggested I try these, the think. So a lot of it is poofa and there's also a lot of estrogen in these types of things. So they're a little bit, it undermines your thyroid. It makes your metabolism slower. It's a scam. It's a complete scam. And this will get me probably a lot of hate, but it would be better if she just had flat out candy. If she had something that was completely fat free, it would actually be better than that. Because this this type of thing, it has a lot of poofa in it and it has soy in it, which is more estrogenic. It's going to slow your metabolism. It will make it harder to lose weight. I never eat stuff like that. I would never eat anything on the shelf. This is all pure poofa, pure seed oils. This type of stuff is weight gain city. You will gain so much weight eating this. You will be have a very hard time eating those types of foods. Bars. I kind of barred out though. I want something else that's not a bar. So let's see what we can find. The juice would be better. It's just, it's just carb. There's no poofa in it. And juice can actually help your liver bring down estrogen. So that would be better. That'd be a better choice. I think some of these waters, Zevia would probably be somewhat okay. The hints, it's kind of okay, you know better options right we're always in, in my mind i'm always thinking of what's the best option here kind of vibe and going from there maybe we have a challenger because i just found red bull makes a peach version so i don't know about this i don't have that because i'm very much a coffee person coffee is very pro thyroid i drink coffee i have about one cup of coffee a day and i might have some tea but I don't know about this. I haven't looked at the ingredients on that, but I don't personally drink them. Now, the energy game is getting too, too intense for me. Too many options. Like I'd be more likely to drink the Coke than that energy drink, just because I don't know what's in it. Snagging a couple smart sweets. So these smart sweets I've actually had. They're not too bad, especially for a calorie deficit. They're very, very low in calories and they can kind of scratch an itch. They are made out of like corn fiber and stevia. It's really weird. It's basically like paying tons of money for air. It's not very smart financially, but if it's not an issue and if you were actually counting calories and you were dying for candy, it actually does help. So I will say that. And these are not super anti-thyroid. They don't really have anything anti-thyroid in them. I think they have coconut oil, which is completely fine. And then just a little bit of carb, tiny, tiny bit. In comparison to actual candy, I mean. Sour Buddies are the best smart sweets. I like the watermelons better and so no, you're wrong. Don't come for me in the comments. You know I'm right. No. <laughs> okay, I'm going through the beauty section and I'm not allowed to buy anything. I hate the pink and green and red. I hate it. I think it's so ugly, Target. I, ah, Target. I have way too much stuff I have not used already, but it's always like alluring, especially at holiday season. So it all looks so dang cute. And I love cute. This Target has like fancy stuff. 
I haven't been on a Target for a long time because I usually order online. And like Target got even fancier if that's possible. No. No. These. You like Poofa, Poofalicious. So I'm pretty sure these are pure Poofa. Lots of seed oil consumption going on. This is Weight Gain City. I'm pretty sure if I remember correctly. I highly doubt this is fried in palm oil or something. I'm pretty sure it's like sunflower oil. A lot of fitness stuff is going to be in sunflower oil. It's not good. It's not good for the thyroid. It will slow your metabolism. Don't have it. Never find them in box. The protein is also likely from soy or peas, which are both estrogenic. So it's like estrogeny protein. It's not great for thyroid health. Much better to just have meat or dairy for protein. Bags here. I'm trying to see if they have they have this one, but I like the sour cream. Oh <gasps> yes. Yeah, these are all pooftastic. Lots of seed oils and all this stuff. So it really is not going to help her lose weight. So for everybody who was like, oh my gosh, she's horrible, what she's eating. I have to agree with you. It's bad. This stuff is a scam. Sorry, I'm real excited. I get excited about protein chips. It's who I am as a person now. But there's got the chicken and waffles. Elite. Bentelect moment. And I've been waiting to get these because I haven't seen them yet. Spicy queso. So I'd have to check those chips. I don't know if they have seed oils. They probably do though. If I had to guess, I would say they do. But um, if it was just made out of pure chicken and it was not fried in anything, like if it was fried in coconut oil, it would be fine. But I don't know if it is. It's probably not. So, it's all. Oh, and they have the Quest Crab. I like the Epic brand better because Epic has like these chicken chips that are actually pretty good and they have coconut flour in them and it's very pro-thyroid. It's like a much more pro-thyroid option. The protein section in Target is popping. It is popping. It's a scam. <gasps> I've never had these before. It doesn't have enough protein. Like I have to eat so much freaking protein to, for recovery that so a lot of people took issue with her saying that. Like there's a lot of like Americans are stupid and Americans are obsessed with protein. Like I don't know what is with a lot of Europeans, but they are like obsessed with hating on Americans for really random things like driving or caring about protein. I'm just like, okay, like I don't know. It's just very bizarre to me. But as far as the like I don't think these proteins are that great. Like I said, they're covered in a lot of stuff that isn't good. There's estrogen in it. If it's a soy-based or pea-based, it's not great. Um, just have meat. Girl, just have meat. It would help you lose weight if you just ate meat. You don't have to have a ton of it, but just have some of it. And people were like, why does she care about protein? No, 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 no. Because she's working out a lot. When you're that big and you're working out, it is tough on you to work out. Again, that's one of the things that irritates me the most about like the sort of anti-fat space is they are constantly talking about how fat people should work out and do all this stuff, but they don't acknowledge that you're like dying at that size. So it's very tough to work out on the body. It's really hard. So yeah, you do have to replace stuff and sometimes building muscle is better than just losing fat. It's important, but I don't know how that would work with her weight loss drug. Like, I don't know. You know, I've seen a lot of people have tons and tons of protein wasting as a side effect of that. So I don't really know that. I don't know. Oh my God. This is, this is like Christmas for, for like protein chips legendary foods that makes the most incredible pop tart stuff now has protein chips i guarantee you it's seed oil central it's a scam and i've heard that they're really freaking good 
I never knew this. I'm coming to Target for protein shit all the time. I'm like, it's so sad how happy I'm about this. I know this is like the saddest thing in the world, but I'm literally geeking out here. This is the brown, it's the brown, I can get the brown sugar ones here. I, I was ordering these online. They have it all. They literally have everything that I've been paying ridiculous shipping to get, and I didn't even know it. I'm literally having a moment right now. I'm having a moment. Oh, I gotta get this. I don't want to drop them. I don't know. I don't know if she understands the optics of that, too, because, like, it's very fat stereotype. Very, very fat stereotype. Extreme. Look at that sexy hand brushing his hair. It makes me want to brush my hair. Suddenly, I want to take care of myself for all these sexy men grooming themselves. This might be my favorite section of the entire target. <laughs> She's trying to be funny. She really is. Okay, so I don't know. What do you guys think? Oh, I just like whipped my cord. What do you guys think about this? Do you think people were over exaggerating? Do you think she's horrifically evil? Do you think that she is destroying the environment? Do you think that she destroyed the whole store? Like, you know what I mean? Like, what do you think? Because to me, it's like... It's definitely cringe. Like, it was definitely cringeworthy. But I don't think it was, like, earth-shattering. You know what I'm saying? So I want to know what you guys think. Um, I really want to know. Because I'm curious as to how my audience is. Because I feel like you guys are kind of cool. Maybe not, though. No, I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> but I just want to see what you guys think about it. Because it's, like... Maybe I'm just not as sensitive. Like, let me know if she just, like, irritated you beyond all level, the whole video. To me, the cringiest parts were when she was changing the mannequin and when she was, like, obviously talking about the food. It was just kind of, like, ugh. it's It's very fat stereotype. I feel like there was another part I didn't like, but let me know what you think. I'm curious. And I'll talk to you guys again soon. Have a good one. Bye.